All right, guys. So Fred Rider here. You know how I said we were gonna do that, right? The make turn it on and see what's the ringing noise, whatever the high screech noise. All right. So I was gonna do that, and there's been some problems with my car lately. When I try to open the hood, for example, here I'll hold you guys with this hand. Just I'm trying to open it, and it's been happening for quite a while. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well that worked, okay. Yeah, as soon as I pulled out the camera, it started working. Okay, so like I was saying, um, there's been some times when it won't budge open, it won't prop open from the thing. So I don't know what it could be. Like I said, I'm not a full on mechanic, but I am thinking of going to a mechanic school next year. So yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Unless it's something from here as well that could be getting rusted or something. All right, but like I said, um, I think what we're gonna do is try to restore all of it, buy pretty much everything brand new, if I can get a job or something like that. And we're gonna turn on the car and see if it's these that are making the squeaking noises and we need to change them. So that's pretty much it. They do look a little bit um, used right there. Let me zoom it in a little bit. A little wear and tear right there. So yeah, um, I am thinking of starting a series called Restore My Car, My Eagle Talent or something. But I don't know, um, give me an idea of what I should call the series where I'm gonna restore it before I do anything to it with like exterior modifying and like buying new parts for it. I'm thinking trying to restore all the basic stuff like the, um, like the hood, for example. Um, some hoses, spark plugs um new bands uh better the housing for this filter and stuff like that fixing the horn is another thing i want to do but yeah that's pretty much it um let's see turn on this thing and see what we can do i don't know what i'm going to tell this video it's pretty much a general thing but yeah that's what i'm thinking starting a new um series restoring my car i don't know what i should call it restoring something because the back the re rear um hatch thing the trunk whenever it rains and if i hit the brakes after it rains water pours in so we gotta fix that as well um this is slowly um falling off we gotta fix that we gotta fix this that a mechanic shop did to me that never freaking told me anything gotta fix whatever that is fix the rusted parts try to restore that a whole bunch of things that I need to do with my vehicle. And that's pretty much it. Um, take this window tent off and get a better one like this one. So yeah, um, I don't know what I should call the series that we're gonna be doing. And that's pretty much it. I am thinking of painting this, but don't. Um, I'll, we'll talk about it later in a different video. It's gonna be a surprise. I just do have the manual for this, so I can do it. I just need to buy the tools and equipment to start doing it and i need to get a job i am trying to become an amazon affi affiliate affiliate is it what it's called so you guys could help me out and you know what i'm saying and whenever i buy stuff and recommend it and do that i will try to start getting sponsorships from autozone or advanced auto parts so yeah um hopefully you guys share this video so i can start fixing up my car get some brand deal sponsor deals whatever um car related of course and i'll have honest reviews about them if i don't like a certain product i will um tell you guys the truth like for example plastic dip i'm not sponsored or anything by them but this has been on my car for now two years i think two years or one year and it's been doing good i mean yeah there's some scrapes and everything but i did this when i was in a junior i think in my high school and it's lasting me well. A lot of people still like it. So yeah, I, I need to fix that. I need to fix this right here in this little crack. Gotta order that. There's a lot of things I gotta do. Repaint it, wrap it, maybe. There's, for example, like that. This car is banged up. Like, when I bought it, it was worse. You gotta fix the window, the film thing right here. I need to take that off. The freaking bumper's coming off. So there's a lot of things I gotta do to this vehicle. But let's turn it on. So let's turn it on.
like that. That's what I mean. It doesn't do no sound. But I don't know. My dad says it's. Here, let me let me go back. Let me get back. I keep forgetting to put on the mic that I bought. But yeah, my dad keeps saying that it's because I don't turn it on too often. Maybe that's the reason. But. You can kind of hear the squeak. All right, guys, but yeah, there you have it. Um, Another thing is my antenna doesn't work, so I, it gets no sound, no radio, or whatever. And so I'm probably gonna change it again with the smaller antennas. And um, the exhaust, whenever I accelerate, whenever I accelerate, there's a freaking um, what is it called? A sound. Look, it's not. It's a police lady. Anyways, though, yeah. Whenever I exhaust, um. And whenever I exhaust, gosh, the police completely just threw me off with my what I was saying. But whenever I accelerate, it goes poop, 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 like in the back. I, I know, right? I should be a voiceover actor, uh, whatever they're called. But yeah, um, I'm going to make a video next week um, in a piece of paper and anything that I need to fix and anything and explain to you guys way better. And that's pretty much it. But, I mean, b besides all that, you know, it's a 97 car. It's been through pretty much a lot of roads and anything, if you really think about it. Like, I don't know how many decades, two maybe? Two decades? No, maybe, I don't know, three? I don't know, um, I'm not good with um, counting math or whatever. Anyways, though, I don't know what has to do with math, but look how nice my car is. Like, geez, look how beautiful that looks. Oh man, the shine on it looks amazing. And the fuzzy dice. Alright, well, it's been nice talking to you guys. Um, let's see if we can do something with my car. It's pretty hard look, finding a job now because of coronavirus or whatever. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I do want to do... so. Oh my, there's so many things I want to do with this car. Trust me, guys. I just need the money, the moolah. But it'll get there and it's time. And that's pretty much it. Um... I need to get that Nissan though. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys later next week.